execute their uh, plans or strategies when they don't have a team or workforce so staffing comes as an important tool to execute the planning to organize the activities so workforce has been staffed and once the workforce has been staffed and directed they need to be controlled okay so control means again when we have a, a difference between the standard and the actual okay if anybody has any questions uh, kindly do let me know beforehand otherwise i'll keep on just giving a brief over uh, the different blocks is it fine with this methodology yes students is it fine with yes ma'am yes, ma please continue okay if anybody have a question uh, we will uh, we will get back again in between okay shrikant ji okay it's i'm audible yes yes madam please please carry on okay so when you talk about the technique controlling controlling the term itself says that when you are trying to uh introspect when you are trying to supervise when you are trying to look into how the things are going to happen and again it is a very essential tool in all your managerial function when you talk about planning organizing directing staffing and controlling so until unless there is a control over the system or until unless there is a control over the workforce again you cannot aim with the achievement of the task which is being assigned so when you talk about control control talks about the difference between the actual and the standards and if the difference is on a higher note definitely control techniques need to be implemented and if the actual is over and above the standards that shows what that shows the efficiency or inefficiency if the actual results attained are over and above the standards which were been set ahead then the workforce has efficiently worked or inefficiently worked can anybody contribute efficiently yes. efficiently so they have uh, over beaten or they have gone over the set standards so there there need not to be implement any control techniques rather the team members should be further motivated by rewards do we all agree that motivation will work for the future attainment of their goals yes ma'am of course yes, it definitely. does definitely definitely there need not to be any strict stringent norms because the team is already doing wonderful job already they are proving the efficiency and productivity so they need to be sustained with their same kind of work efficiency so they need to be motivated rewarded either by monetary rewards or by non monetary rewards we know every uh, aspect that motivation varies from person to person so the manager's duty becomes to identify that which team member is being motivated by what kind of motivational aspects so the team should be motivated in case second situation if standards and actuals are uh, parallel or equal what should be done first situation was the actual oversighted the standards that means the team team overperformed what was been expected out of them so they were been appreciated they were been rewarded second situation if the standards and the actual performance are at par or equivalent then what should be the strategy of a manager what should be the strategy there should be some stringent rules norms to control them or something to be told by the manager to the workforce can anybody just give an answer what should be the strategy of the manager in case when the standards are being attained at par by the actual performance na kam hai na zyada hai barabar hai jitna expected tha utna achieve kiya manager should look into that the same pace is been maintained ignore na kare control mein dhyan rakhe ki over and again the team keeps on performing at the same pace do we all agree yes 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 because yes. agar usse niche jayenge to again it is a difficult situation agar usse upar ja rahe very good so manager should be visionary should be uh, again uh, observant that is situation the situation niche nahi jaye so you should handle the team you should keep on pushing the team to attain more fine 
the last situation the worst situation where the standards are not being accomplished by the workforce that means the actual performance which came forward was again not up to the expectation what should manager do in this particular situation can anybody just contribute i will elaborate further but if the situation is the actual performance was not up to the expectation of the standards being set so they underperformed the team didn't attain the targets being given so what should be the manager's strategy actually then comes I the mean, control yeah. yes shrikanji what you are trying to contribute please yeah, yeah what what i'm saying is if they're not met with the set standards or if their achievement or their you know work has not been up to standards, they will have to, you know, a manager, a leader has to call them in and find it's, out where exactly the gaps needs to be filled. And uh, they need to control and, and manage and, and uh, you know, uh, uh, do what needs to be done to move forward and motivate them. I mean, that is the best part of, you know, the most important part of any, any entity. Yes. If you remember in the last class, we have discussed about theory X and theory Y. That means uh, type X kind of people and type Y kind of people. Maybe the team or the manager's team is having both category of uh, people performing in their team. So manager has now strategically need to un uh, implement the control techniques. Okay. There could be various control techniques which help the organization to manage the gap or the difference between the standard and the actual performance few which have been discussed in your uh, if you if you can see on your screen in your book is about gantt chart i'm just scrolling it once for you there is importance of control there is a, a control process that first and foremost the standards are being established then the actual performance is being measured okay and then the comparison has been done between the actuals and the standards. And if there is a gap being found, then corrective actions have been taken in the form of control techniques being executed. I hope you can see on the screen. I hope you can see on the screen the control process. Yes. Yeah, now we can. Yeah. So what happens? The establishment of standards are being done. The actual performance is being measured. And then the comparison is being done between the actual and the standard. And if there is a gap being found or there is a deviation being observed by the manager, then corrective actions in the form of control techniques are being done by the manager. So let's see what all techniques are there. If you can see on the screen, I'll just come to uh, the control techniques immediately. Right. You can see there are types of control, feed forward control, which is known as concurrent also. When the controls are being implemented by the managers, that is feed forward. <clears throat> Excuse me, that is a regular maintenance kind of thing. Okay. If you can see two types of internal controls, preventive and detective, are being executed by the organization. And now, if you can see on the screen, techniques or to control uh, the uh, deviations being made between the standards and the actuals. These are few of the techniques like Gantt charts. If you can see, a beautiful figure has been presented over here. Gantt chart generally been used to facilitate the control over any of the project. Okay, can you all see on the screen? To control any of the projects, the manager applies the most simplest instrument that is a Gantt chart. I might, um, maybe you might have heard about Gantt chart. Gantt chart is a periodic, agar jaise aap dekhte, timetable aapko milta examination ka, you have planned that which day, which, which examination at what time. So similarly, Gantt chart also gives you a timetable, time schedule for any of the project which is on the workstation or which is on the execution mode. Okay. Can all of you yes, see? Sir. Yes, yes. Please. Okay. If you can see the Gantt chart, beautifully presented, what all things are being covered, just an example being showcased over here, that if it's a four weeks project, how it is being planned, you can see, starting from developing the proposal, approval of proposal, recruitment of the team to execute that particular project, developing testing, specifying details, prototype, approved prototype, test beta, test beta is again a sample testing before the final execution of the project. 
ठीक है ताकि जो भी दिक्कत हो वो भी गैप हो वो अपन कवर अप कर ले और फिर फाइनल एग्जीक्यूशन पे जाए आफ्टर दी करेक्शन अप्रूवल एंड देन एग्जीक्यूशन देन रोल आउट दी फाइनल वर्जन एंड दिस प्रोजेक्ट कैन बी ओवर सीन एंड कैन बी कंट्रोल्ड ओके बाय हैविंग अ स्टेप बाय स्टेप मूवमेंट ठीक है सो ज्ञान चार्ट प्रिपेयर टू कंट्रोल प्रोजेक्ट फर्स्ट टेक्निक सेकेंड टेक्निक वुड बी ब्रेक इवन एनालिसिस ब्रेक इवन एनालिसिस trying to control or trying to understand various costs involved in any kind of activity aap agar dekh pa rahe hain it's a useful tool to control the cost like they are trying to identify the relationship between the fixed cost variable cost total cost again various types of output and profit etc so again break even point talks about various levels of production and total cost and again it focuses on the profit and loss ratio for the organization so again it becomes one of the technique to control the prices for the organization so that there is no mere wastage of resources taking place rather it talks about optimal utilization of the resources and organization tries to demonstrate the balance between the profit and the loss that means total revenue should be equal to the total cost kind of thing that is a stage where uh, again no profit no loss situation nahi to buri halat hai nahi bahut achhi halat hai but at least we are able to maintain a a uh, uh, a break even point i hope you understand break even nor more nor less a saturated level theek hai so that at least you can the manager can look into improve the technology levels can look into the uh, to improve the efficiency level of the team so second kind of control technique could be again uh, uh, break even analysis third is again budgetary control i hope you all understand the major major meaning of budget it is a most commonly used technique or device universal to control things basically in every household we we plan budget similarly organizations also plan budget to have a look over the standards and the actuals koi bhi project shuru karne se pehle sabse pehle budget approval hota hai so that whatever project goes on floor should be kept controlled by revenue expenditure estimation via budget I hope you all agree that budget is one of the most commonly used control device. बहुत छोटा सा अगर घर में भी फंक्शन होता है तो भी बजट इट आउट सो दैट वी डोंट गो ओवर एंड अबव ये सर नो ओके द थर्ड कैटेगरी ऑफ टेक्निक इज बजट एंड द फोर्थ कैटेगरी इज अ स्टैटिस्टिकल टूल व्हिच टॉक्स अबाउट पर्ट सीपीएम पर्ट सीपीएम इज अ स्टैटिस्टिकल क्वांटिटेटिव टेक्निक टू कंट्रोल the complex projects at one time at one time multiple projects can be controlled and again it's a program evaluation and review technique please make sure uh, rather i should uh, inform generally pert cpm ke problems ya numerical questions aapke statistical uh, analysis ya quantitative techniques ke paper mein aata hai i hope in first semester you are studying this paper also quantitative techniques there is one paper called quantitative techniques qt statistical uh, techniques so over there you study the problems related to pert cpm yahan hame sirf ek overview chahiye ki how pert cpm tries to control or it becomes as a planning tool as well as controlling tool for the organization to execute the project in time and to complete it efficiently okay pert pert means program evaluation review technique and cpm means critical path method okay so we are not going in more detail into over here because the questions are not going to be asked from pert cpm in paper of uh, management functions and organization processes so it's just one of the technique to control you can see critical path is again a longest path in terms of the amount of time so they try to reduce the longest path to save time money revenue as well as to efficiently achieve the project so per cpm uses statistical methods or quantifiable what when you say that when numbers are involved techniques to predict the time of completion and to predict the uh, completion goals of the project any questions up till now any questions if you can see the summary or the no. snapshot of the whole unit it's there on the screen so organize you organization uses both budgetary and non budgetary mechanism to control the if working performance so that the goals of the organizations can be achieved basically 
controlling comes into existence when people get deviated from the track and to bring back the team to on the track danger applies the control technique This much is through. Anybody has any questions? No, ma'am. The eighth unit talks about leadership and motivation. See, generally people used to talk about leaders in the uh, what should I say prior eras, but nowadays people talk about management. So a manager is a sum total of management and leadership skills. So I'm not covering that unit because it's a very very common unit. You might have read across numerous times various kinds of leaders. You might be aware of various popular leaders across the world. They are being known for their leadership style. People say that they are charismatic leaders. People say that they are magical leaders. Leaders basically who can make people follow them blindly. ठीक है, there are various Asian gurus who have become very popular leaders whom followers followed blindly. ठीक है, but in current era, when you talk about the role of a manager, the manager has to showcase role beyond a leader. Leader is one of his role, but beyond that, he has to showcase various things where he needs to ensure the achievement of the goals of the organization is well. So unit eight talks about entirely about leadership and leadership styles so you can kindly go through that particular unit main abhi yahan pe share nahi kar rahi hu i'm trying to safeguard the time so that we can cover the whole four blocks so i hope it is uh, uh, comfortable with all of you because leadership is again a very common commonly used things which you might read every now and then there are various famous leaders if you talk about azim prem ji if you talk about Uh, ratan tata they have been the popular names popular leaders quoted again and again in the corporate world where they have been example setters for their organization even if you talk about narayan murthy from infosys he is again a very very popular corporate leader so there is a differentiation there are political leaders there are uh, religious leaders there are corporate leaders so there are various leader leaders whose uh, autobiography and stories you read and we get inspired through so i'm not sharing unit 8 which talks about leadership and motivation again as i said motivation can be monetary and non monetary and manager needs to identify the best methodology to rectify that which uh, team member can be motivated by what kind of plans so it's fine with should be now share with unit 9 can i share with unit 9 with all of you yes ma'am please yes ma'am okay so if you have questions we definitely will be taking questions along with uh, we i can stop in between and you can just raise your hands and we will solve or during the completion of the class we can uh, we can take the query session along fine so let me just just okay. share so that we just just once cover through all the blocks so that ek bar lage hame ki humne sara ek bar superficially dekh liya hai i'll just share unit 9 uh, window with you I hope it is visible on screen. Yes. Unit nine talks about decision making. As I told, it is again an important management function for a manager to take right decision at the right time. Decision making is what can anybody just contribute a simple version? Decision making is again a common layman word which is being used in daily, daily, daily life life uh, uh, scenario. decision making can anybody just contribute something about decision making see the term decision making means to decide something okay bahut hi common man mein agar hum baat kare to decision making is to decide something decide what to decide from the available 
options or the alternatives okay do we all agree to this when there are numerous alternatives or options available we try to decide among and sometimes there is a dilemma or confusion that what to opt for so similarly manager could be also into the same situation that if there are numerous options or alternatives available then which alternative he should go best with or which be best alternative can be opted by him so that decision becomes again fruitful do we all agree that decision making is again a big strategic uh, activity yes, of course definitely yes, because if you get into a wrong decision you may ruin your resources you may not reach to ultimately the task or the uh, or the goal which you have started with so again decision becomes decision making holds an important position in the management function even for the manager so manager has to look into various options to ultimately choose the best this best alternative to decide for okay so let let me just scroll with the screen so that we can just have a snapshot what decision making talks about in general maine aapko bataya decision making is selecting the best alternative which is suitable for the work to be done or which is suitable for the aim or goal which you are striving to achieve bahut basic layman example hai i am striving to achieve my career so i need to decide with the best course or best subjects which can make me industry ready to get employment yes or no to get a employment yes. i need to choose that particular course or syllabus or degree which will make me industry ready which will make me uh, recruitable or people can absorb me in the organization and can start with my career so lot many options students keep on exploring and they keep on deciding by taking uh suggestions from other by experiencing by exploring so similarly manager also has to take decisions on day to day basis as well as on a long term basis also to execute the strategies or implement the strategies to attain the goals so let's see what decision making talks about three phases of decision making process various managerial decisions decision taking in the different nature okay individual versus group decision making overcoming barriers to decision making these are few of the points being covered under decision making if you can see phases in decision making past present and future on these three bases the decision making is being done agar aap dekh pa rahe hain definition bhi is this clash ho rahi hai the process of choosing between alternatives to achieve goals definitely a manager is trying to take decisions to achieve goals in the organization or in the organization environment okay so it depends upon again decision making has a barrier agar aapke paas zyada badhiya alternatives or options hi nahi hai you cannot bang on for the superb kind of decisions to be taken so jo bhi available alternatives hain you have to select the best among i hope you all agree yes so if in case the manager is lacking with the available alternatives or available options so he has to take the best decisions from the available choice okay so what kind of framework he identifies he identifies three stages past present and future what was been done in past kaise chala tha past pe kya mere paas abhi present mein choice available hai aur agar main isme se choose kar leta hu to future mein how it is going to showcase this to me so in three phases they are doing it and if you can see decision theorists have given us uh, stages intelligence activity design activity and choice activity intelligence activity again initial phase to attempt and recognize understand the requirement aapko kyu decision lena what is the problem as i said i want to cho choose a course which will provide me employment in my career so that is my objectivity so first is objectivity and for that particular objectivity is what all uh, options are available for example what are courses are available and what are the barriers to opt for those courses for instance mit i want to go and do my mba from mit us or mit university quite possible there is a constraint of finances so i'll be able to opt that choice will i be will i be choice hai mere paas alternative hai ki mit university se jaake main mba kar lu i'll be absorbed there but i have constraint of finances मेरा वो चॉइस ऑप्शन ओपन रहेगा या क्लोज हो जाएगा 
क्लोज हो जाएगा डेफिनेटली क्लोज हो जाएगा क्योंकि आई डोंट हैव फाइनेंसेस आई डोंट हैव अ स्पॉन्सर सो माय चॉइस हैज बिकम अगेन नैरो डाउन इसी तरह से मैनेजर भी अपने चॉइसेस और अल्टरनेटिव्स को नैरो डाउन करता है डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द अवेलेबल रिसोर्सेज एंड द चॉइसेस टू बी मेड ओके ऑप्शंस बहुत सारे हैं आई कैन गो टू एनी कॉर्नर ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एंड डू माय एमबीए एंड गेट माय सेल्फ अब्जॉर्ब ऑल देयर बट देयर कैन बी कंस्ट्रेंट मे बी आई एम आई एम होमसिक मे बी आई डजंट सूट्स मी टू गो ओवरसीज मे बी देयर इज अ फाइनेंशियल कंस्ट्रेंट मॉडल आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ डिसीजन हाउ टू गेट टू दिसन प्रोसेस एंड हाउ टू सेलेक्ट सेलेक्ट ऑन दस ऑफ जजमेंट एनालिसिस बार्गेनिंग एंड ऑथोराइजेशन कई बार होता है कि मेरे पास चॉइस नहीं है माय पेरेंट्स आर गोइंग टू मेक डिसीजन फॉर मी पॉसिबल है इज इट पॉसिबल माय पेरेंट्स हैव टू टेक अ डिसीजन ऑन मी इफ दे वांट टू सेंड मी टू टेक अ डिग्री और अ कोर्स अक्रॉस कंट्री और मे बी ओवरसीज सिमिलरली ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में भी हो सकता है मैं मैनेजर हूं बट आई नीड टू टेक अ अगेन अ डिसीजन और परमिशन फ्रॉम माय हायर अथॉरिटीज So if I have authorization, okay, it's fine with me. But if I don't, I need to seek one permission, or I seek, I need to seek that authorization. I need to get an authority to take a decision. So these three phases, decision making works: identification, development, and selection. Selection of the best alternative, depending upon the authority being given, depending upon the choices available, depending upon its actual uh, execution. I hope the model is visible to you all on screen. Yes, it is visible. Now. Let's move further. It's been showcased via this C, establishing the problems, alternatives available, and the choices to be made. Simple decision making. Definitely, you are decision making. Why are you doing? Because you have a problem, a issue, a your aim, a objective. You have to attain it. For that, you are looking for alternatives. You are looking for alternatives. You are looking for best choices. You are looking for alternatives. You are looking for best choices. That is your decision making process. Generally, you find a question in examination on this topic, students. Are you able to connect with me? Generally, yes. it's a favorite type of a topic from the examiner's point of view to give question on decision making. Okay. Different type of managerial decisions, if you can see on the screen: personal, organizational, basic routine, programmed, and non-programmed. You see, a manager can take. these different categories of decisions during his stay at the organization personal at his own level at organization level basic generalized or routine programmed and non programmed decisions you can go through when you read through with this simple hai ye you can see on three two types of decisions are being showcased in a table judgmental and adaptive judgmental decisions include marketing investment personal problems and adaptive decisions include research and development long term term corporate planning and uh, mechanistic decisions have been taken under judgmental and analytical decisions have been taken under adaptive They that they are there are various decisions taking under different situations. Decisions under certainty, decisions under risk, and decisions under uncertainty. Do we really face these three phases in our daily life also? Yes. Yes, it influences. Yes, it is there. Yes. Sometimes under risk, we have to take immediate decision. For example, a doctor by profession has to take immediate decision to safeguard the life of his patient. Yes or no? And sometimes we are very certain. Yeah, this road will go to my destination. I am very clear and confident. So that decision becomes to be more achievable, accomplishable. But in jahan pe mujhe hit and trial karna, I am not sure what is going to take place. Their decision making becomes difficult. I have to wait and watch ki what will be the outcome. It can be my way. It can be against me. Yes or no? So there are different situations or natures under which decisions are being taken. definitely decisions being made done under certainty are most more risk free rather than decisions being taken under risk and under uncertainty 
अनसर्टेनिटी यू आर नॉट क्लियर हो सकता है एक चीज ऑप्ट करे चार चीज उसमें से निकल के आए यू आर नॉट श्योर यू आर नॉट क्लियर और रिस्क वेर यू हैव टू सेफ गार्ड योर लाइफ वेर यू टू सेफ गार्ड योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल लाइफ सो दैट इज अगेन अगेन रिस्कियर अफेयर If you can see decisions of uh, models of decision making, there are three models being discussed: economic model, rationality model, or administrative, and implicit model. आप लोग जब पढ़ेंगे, if you go through, anybody have tried to go through with their blocks? वैसे आप लोग बहुत busy हैं, शायद पूरा week से आपके classes bag on bag हैं. So I don't think so कि आप सबको time मिला होगा. But whenever you will read, it's very simple. आप एक read करेंगे, उसमें आपको पता चल जाएगा. Economic rationality when you are trying to take decision on economic grounds, best suiting alternative, which is going to pay off at the greatest level. Economic aspect pe, मतलब कम पैसा खर्च में better outcome. I hope you understand. It give you a better advantage or जैसे आप कहते हैं ना पैसा वसूल decision. I went to watch that movie. It was a पैसा वसूल decision. I hope you understand. You can relate. That means whatever choice you did to watch a particular movie, आपने कहा अरे the ticket का पैसा वापस मिल गया I was been fully entertained. होता है कई बार? Yes, yes, ma'am. It has. Sometimes it does you go for a shopping and you get something best out of the things available. Then you say again, a पैसा वसूल shopping I've done. People appreciated you. People asked you from from where you bought bought this. So आपको लगता हो oh, I've done a wonderful job by opting this particular option. So that is an economic model when you are trying to get the uh, best pay off, best advantage, maximum pay off by opting for that particular decision. Generally used basic model. ये देखिए कैसे चलता है ये model आपके screen पे step by step दिखा रखा है इन्होंने. Identify the problem. क्या करना है? Determine the goal to be achieved. Identify the alternatives available. Identify the course of action of all the alternatives and consider the alternative which is the best suitable or best economically fitting. Okay. Next is bounded rationality, also called as administrative model. This model assumes individual rationality in the decision making process. It assumes that people, while they may seek the best solution, usually settle for much less because the decisions they confront typically demand greater information. They seek limited, बहुत ज़्यादा अपने periphery को बढ़ाते नहीं हैं, ठीक है? Limited available options में से choose करने की कोशिश करते हैं, ठीक है? They don't want to spread their boundaries, bounded, that is limited. जो best है, उसमें से ही choose कर लेंगे, बहुत ज़्यादा explore नहीं करेंगे. So that is again a bonded rationality model. You can see a chart is being shown to you. Identify the problem, establish the level of aspiration, employ the program or feasible alternatives, get appraise the alternatives. Again, if it is acceptable, it's fine. If it is unacceptable, go back to the accessing of the Feasibility, then act again, evaluate and get the results. ये जो बार-बार वापस से arrows बन रहे हैं, that shows that if you are not fit in, if it is not feasible, if it is not acceptable, go back to the previous step. Implicit model, the last model, it talks about uh, taking deals primarily with non-programmed decisions. Like they are unstructured, maybe spontaneously आ गया, again routinized नहीं है, routine से हट के कुछ नया आया है, okay उस situation में you are trying to implement the implicit model. You can see the process over here. How implicit model works. Set the goal, identify the implicit favorites. Implicit मतलब जो best favorites हैं. उसमें भी आपने स्ट्रूट नहीं कर लिया ठीक है कि कौन सा बेस्ट है इम्प्लिसिट आपकी खुद की नॉलेज से ठीक है रैंक योर ऑल्टरनेटिव वन टू थ्री आइडेंटिफाई कंफर्मेशन इस्टेब्लिश डिसीजन यू रूल एंड अनाउंस डिसीजन थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ मॉडल्स 
techniques used in decision making if you can see first and foremost is generation of reasonable number of alternatives alternative nahi honge to decision kaise lenge to sabse pehle hota hai generation of alternatives brainstorming sessions i hope you all understand brainstorming people sit in group and they do decision making or they interact they debate they talk they converse and they generate numerous ideas whichever as possible and then they opt for the best acceptable solution that is brainstorming you understand brainstorming it's a general man uh, word ek think tank tank ki tarah aap uh, baithte hain ek sath you brainstorm you generate various ideas from the thought process of various group members and you come to a alternatives and then you select the best alternative again one more technique that is synthesis it is again recent it, it is derived from greek word which means putting together the diverse elements that means you stimulate various ideas from diverse words and then you sit together to identify the feasible one diverse word mein virtual word bhi ho sakta hai but that is not essential that it should be they should be physically present the members should be physically present nominal grouping again it is one of the uh, popular used decision making tool agar aap dekh pa rahe hain screen pe there are following steps 7 to 10 members from different backgrounds and trainings are been experts have been brought together problem has been identified each member has been asked to prepare a list of ideas in response to the identified problem again individually they are doing they are sitting in a group but they are doing it individually kya kiya aaj se 10 log ek particular field ke specialized field ke bulaye gaye problem identify karwaya gaya sabse kaha gaya ki aap best possible alternatives problem se related apne ek page pe likhiye theek hai sab log individually likhenge theek hai then after 15 20 minutes again round table discussion has been done the facilitator or the coordinator is recording all the alternatives on the blackboard or somewhere and then discussion starts theek hai sabke ideas ko ek jagah mention kar liya gaya ek jagah record kar liya gaya and again every member is been openly asked to discuss and evaluate each recorded idea ek baar sabne apne level pe apne ideas likh liye fir jo bhi is particular technique ko coordinate ya moderate kar raha tha that will they, uh, he will record all the ideas from the members and display at one place and now people can openly discuss aap samajh pa rahe nominal grouping how it works fir jiske upar sabse zyada yeah. voting hogi jis idea pe sabse zyada sabka sehmati hoga us idea ya us particular alternative ko choose kar liya jayega us problem ko solve karne ke liye again very popular technique used in organization numerous times nominal grouping creative thinking again thinking for a particular problem in a various dimensions okay again creative thinking is again a need of the hour nowadays people are using this uh, technique to make decisions again it's, it is uh, a technique where group is involved in making the decisions creative thinking creative idea thinking out of the box bahut baar generally terms use hote hain organizations mein देखिए फेजेस इन क्रिएटिव थिंकिंग प्रिपेयरिंग कॉन्शियस सेचुरेशन इंक्यूबेशन वेरिफिकेशन एंड अकोमोडेशन ठीक है दीज आर वेरियस स्टेप्स मैं फटाफट चलाती हूँ सो देट आई कैन कवर अप विद अदर ब्लॉक्स एज वेल विथ यू क्योंकि आपके ब्लॉक फोर में देर आर अराउंड फाइव यूनिट्स इज इट फाइन विद टेक्निक्स और डिसीजन मेकिंग now there are the advantages been given of individual decision making group decision making generally generally bata deti hu individual decision making is quick do we all agree in comparison to group decision making yes yes is pe kai baar question aa jata hai merits and demerits of group decision making versus individual decision making generally is pe kai baar question ban jata hai to sabse rational difference yahi hai individual decision making is quick and group decision making is delayed process because there are different people different thought process and different uh, alternatives available so more choices so coming and pen downing to the one becomes a long term process <clears throat> in individual decision making maybe the number of choices are less whereas in group decision making the number of choices are more because more uh, think tanks are thinking together or more brains are working together 
So generally, there can be a question being found on individual versus group decision making, which I hope you all can go through. These are few of the barriers. Again, kindly do read the barriers of group decision. They are the demerits of group decision making. Okay. How to overcome the barriers? This talks about decision making. Should I share the next blog with you? Yes, please, ma'am. So that we just can uh, once oversee what all units are there in your last blog, and then we can discuss in the class. Just give me a second's time. I'll just quickly share with you the fourth blog. Ma'am, it is also said that the first option which is available, it is not always the best option. Exactly. You need to access. You need to understand. You need to see to and fro, to and side for that particular option to to take the best of the decision. And again, decision making sometimes is very very complex and a uh, difficult process. Yeah. कई बार हम छोटा सा छोटा डिसीजन लेने में इतना टाइम लगाते हैं और कई बार उसका आउटकम भी इतना अच्छा नहीं होता है सो दे वी फील देन बिट्रेड दैट वी टू सो मच ऑफ एफर्ट एनर्जी टाइम एंड अगेन वी डेंट लैंड इन टू अ राइट सिचुएशन कई बार होता है आप स्टॉक मार्केट में इन्वेस्ट करना चाहते हैं यू गो टू ट्राई टू फाइंड द बेस्ट स्टॉक ऑप्शन अवेलेबल और मे बी बेस्ट शेयर और मे बी बेस्ट ऑल्टरनेटिव और आपने उसका बहुत अच्छा स्टडी करके उसके अंदर इन्वेस्ट किया होता है बट मे बी the outcome is not up to the expectation true so sometimes again it is it is irony that we are not been able to control things though we want to though we try to though we emphasize but then to we are not been able to because sometimes things are out of our reach and in crisis management it is said ki Uh, as quickly you will take the decision the you know you will avoid the damage uh, longer damage ha ah, so us time pe kya hota jo best aapko lagta hai jisme damage kam ho jaise humne kaha na decision under risk and under uncertainty to yes. tab aapke pa paas na to zyada time hota hai na choices hoti hai hum sirf damage ko reduce karne ke liye risk ko avoid karne ke liye hum wo decision le lete hain knowingly ki ho sakta hai this decision may be wrong to us like okay. covid covid ah, times it was uncontrollable for all of us it was uncertain and uncontrollable and still the repercussions have been felt by us true so what happens this is this is something uh, that that we have discussed now in the different situations when you take decisions yeah so that 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 becomes the irony sometimes that you are not been able to control things just give me a second i'm just sharing uh, the uh, next block the last block which starts from unit 10 to it goes to unit 14 there are around five uh, units in this block which talks about organization process basically screen is visible yeah see the term organization structure yes, and design talks about the structure mai bahut hi commonly used layman language mein aapko ek example deti hu when we go for our house construction we get a blueprint sanction from the architect yes or no yes that showcases the structure I'll have three BHK plot, or I'll have three BHK house, or four BHK where my bedroom should be, where my living room would be, where my kitchen would be. Architect designs a structure of your house and gives in accordingly the functioning or working of uh, completing that house starts. Yes. So there yes. is a blueprint of your house. Similarly, if you talk about human body, we have a skeleton system that gives a structure to our body. 
yes or no we were without a skeleton system how would our body would have uh, look through so even our body has a structure in the form of a skeleton system so that we are being identified that this is my head this is my abdomen this is my leg these are my hands these are my eyes this is my face that defines the structure of a human body what defines the skeleton system similarly the the different uh, structure uh, of the house or a blueprint defines and accordingly the house has been constructed so structure becomes again very very relevant and important in organization also and structure of the organization reflects the hierarchy of the organization when it say now there are three levels of management top middle and lower that is the structure of the organization rather the structure defines the levels so that people are aware that what will be the hierarchy what will be the flow of action what will be the flow of communication what will be the flow of authority and responsibility and how the functioning will take place basically ek mapping hai ek structuring hai jisse logo ko bahut role clarity rehta hai ki how the working will take place who will govern whom who will guide whom who will lead whom who will follow whom yes or no yes so organization yes, design basically talks about the whole hierarchical system of the organization okay which clearly defines the top management middle management and the lower management kai bar hota hai aapne job vacancy dekha aapko pata chala ki there is a vacancy for a general manager usse hame pata chal jayega ki general manager is a position at which level in the organization so jab tak organization ko khud ko structure clear nahi hoga they will not be able to recruit people they will not be able to execute the strategies they will not be able to achieve their goals and aims so structure for any type of organization becomes a basic element of the functioning okay so let's see organization structure and chart chart means the hierarchy generally the organizations are be divided into two categories formal and informal okay again factors of uh, which affect the choice of structure which kind of structure you will follow bahut sare startups aate hain abhi aaye hain india mein down the line 5 to 7 years back हो सकता है एक स्टार्टअप शायद दो लोगों से या चार लोगों से शुरू हो गया वहां पे हो सकता है कि एक हरारिकल स्ट्रक्चर और एक बड़ा सा चार्ट बनाना डिफिकल्ट हो बट फिर भी उन चार लोगों को रोल क्लियरिटी पता है कि व्हाट दे आर गोइंग टू डू यस और नो या नीड टू टॉक अबाउट एच यू एल यू टॉक अबाउट रिलायंस यू टॉक अबाउट टाटा जो लार्ज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है उनके ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर और चार्ट बहुत क्लियरली प्रेजेंटेड है बहुत क्लियरली विजिबल है जिससे कि पता चलता है कि हाउ दिस सिस्टम विल वर्क ठीक है तो लेट्स सी क्विकली आपके इस इस पर्टिकुलर यूनिट में बहुत सारी चीजें कवर हो रही है और बहुत ही सिंपल है सारी चीजें आप देख पा रहे हो स्क्रीन पे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर एंड चार्ट फॉर्मल एंड इनफॉर्मल स्ट्रक्चर आई होप यू ऑल नो वॉट टाइप वॉट इज फॉर्मल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड वॉट इज इनफॉर्मल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ये फॉर्मल इज वेरी एक्सट्रेंजन विद दी नॉर्म्स स्ट्रिक्ट रूल्स स्ट्रिक्ट रेगुलेशन इनफॉर्मल विथ ज बेट कम्फर्टेबल बहुत ज्यादा स्ट्रिक्ट रूल्स रेगुलेशन नहीं है लेकिन इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि वहाँ काम नहीं होता जैसे मैंने एग्जाम्पल दिया एक स्टार्टअप का जिसमें दो या चार फ्रेंड्स ने मिलकर एक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को टप किया हो सकता है एक इनफॉर्मल मोड ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में काम कर रहा है लेकिन इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि वो काम नहीं कर रहा है या उनके कोई गोल्स आइडेंटिफाइड नहीं है ओनली द वर्किंग मॉडल इज डिफरेंट बिटवीन अ फॉर्मल एंड एन इनफॉर्मल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वॉट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स हेल्प यू टू आइडेंटिफाई दक्चर फॉर दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डी सेंट्रलाइजेशन इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म What is decentralization? There are two terms: centralization and decentralization. Decentralization, where the authority and responsibility is equally distributed at different parts of the organization, at different levels of the organization. Whereas centralization means it has been concentrated only at top management. I hope you understand the term centralization. Yeah, but the, in centralization, basically the top manager, management having all the control, have all the authority over exactly. all the decisions. And they don't want to share. they don't want to delegate they want to keep yeah. it at one point only whereas decentralization equal distributed as per the responsibility agar aap responsibility dete hain aur authority nahi dete to kaam nahi hota hai so decentralization form of structure of the organization talks about at different level different authorities are also being spared so that decision making can be done the responsibilities can be adhered to aajkal bahut sare organizations decentralization mode pe work karte hain rather than working on a centralized mode because it is much more uh, gain seeking or profit generating hey, decentralization people... decentralization is basically you know uh, to empower your uh, employees 
आजकल वैसे बहुत ज्यादा डिफरेंस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में दिखता नहीं है लेकिन लाइन एंड स्टाफ मेंबर्स आर डिफाइंड एज लाइन पीपल हु आर वर्किंग फ्रॉम फ्रंट द फ्रंट रोल प्लेयर्स एंड स्टाफ हु आर द बैक सपोर्ट ऑफ द लाइन वर्कर्स आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड एनी ऑफ द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्लांट कोई भी एक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्लांट का अगर हम एग्जांपल लेते हैं तो वहां लाइन मेंबर्स कौन होंगे इंजीनियर्स या मैनेजर्स उट ऑन मशीन उसमें and an administrative staff who is working from the ground level is a staff member theek okay, hai so do, the roles and duties differentiate between line and staff line workers are forefront workers and staff workers are people who are working from the back but aajkal ke organizations mein ye terms use nahi ho rahe hain please make a point but jab ye management definitions shuru hui thi tab se ye terminology work kar rahi hai that's why we are studying lekin aajkal organization mein koi categorization nahi karta hai line or staff ka the current organizations don't do that okay but it is a part of the management uh, functions and management education so we are trying to cover these points specialization of work as per the specialization the work is been divided okay division of labor has been done i hope you might have heard henry fluor me 14 principles make division of labor was also a word that means division of work has been done among, done among the team members ek hi jana subah se leke shaam tak ya raat aur raat dino din tak kaam karta rahega so it will it will decrease his efficiency so division of work improves the efficiency and the time to get the work achieved attained next term is span of control it's again a common term span of control can anybody contribute to this स्पैन ऑफ कंट्रोल इज बेसिकली यू नो कि आप उसे कितना कंट्रोल दे रहे हैं टू डील विद सिचुएशंस कितनी अथॉरिटी दे रहे हैं आई आई जस्ट इंप्रूवाइज ऑन दिस वन मैनेजर इज लीडिंग हाउ मेनी टीम मेंबर्स दैट इज स्पैन ऑफ कंट्रोल ये भी हो सकता है एक सिंगल मैनेजर के अंडर 16 मेंबर्स है और हो सकता है एक मैनेजर के अंदर चार मेंबर्स भी हैं इनको हम स्ट्रक्चर्स कहते हैं टॉल एंड फ्लैट आपने कभी प्लैट्यूज देखा है पॉइंटेड प्लैट्यू एंड अ फ्लैट प्लैट प्लैट्यू मतलब जिसमें फ्लैट प्लैट्यू में जितना ज्यादा ऊपर एक रहेगा उसके पास पैन ऑफ कंट्रोल ज्यादा है हां फ्लैट प्लैट्यू में एक के पास चार लोग हैं या ज्यादा लोग हैं ओके okay. और टिप में या फिर एक एक पॉइंटेड प्लैट्यू में वन इज हैविंग मोर पीपल कवरिंग सो स्पैन ऑफ कंट्रोल दैट मींस हु इज लीडिंग हुम डिफरेंट लेवल्स अगर अपन स्ट्रक्चर देखेंगे आगे तो इट विल बी मोर क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई विल जस्ट क्विकली जस्ट स्क्रॉल दिस This will show you the charts and structures of your organization. Look, your organization structure and chart. Ka dekh example. Dekh pa rahe? Kisi bhi organization ki hierarchy ko ap organization structure kehte hain. Top management, board of directors and chairman and managing director. Fir middle level mein ap dekhiye manager purchase ya fir manager operations, manager manufacturing, manager marketing, manager finance. Further manufacturing manager ke under further production control, quality control. Further procurement of the resources transportation traffic Ma finance manager ke under uh, again further there is a further classification you are able to see how many people are working in this organization this is an organization chart dekh pa rahe hain aap log screen pe which i was talking prior it gives a structure to the organization gives a hierarchy it tells us how the work of, uh, flow of work will take place how the flow of communication will take place who will report to whom 
that will make more role clarity as well. Can you see the chart? Yes. You can draw this chart also when a question comes on organization structure. If we do a pictorial presentation, and if it is an online exam, it's a different case. But if it is an offline exam or where you are doing in a physical mode, there you can display all these via charts and figures. If you have an assignment, please be, be very, very uh, involved into doing your assignment because these all fetch you more marks. Pictorial presentation, graphical presentation. Okay. This we have discussed. So I'm missing. Sure. Yes. HR uh, it's a general paper. Uh, it's a uh, HR is missing. You are saying this. See, manager yes, personal hai na. You can see over here. See my scroll. My this is it. Okay. HR only, na? Manager personal. You can see here. Okay. Hai na? It's just a sample example. Personal thumb up. HR ko personal care. Purani terms mein HR ko personal kehte the, if you remember. Okay. Okay. See, what organization structure includes? It includes organization chart plus job description. It includes different people, different departments. It talks about coordination of tasks and activities. It talks about delegation of authority. It talks about managing and administrative. And it talks about flow of information and Communication network. Look, we have talked about all these things organization structure. Mein kya -kya cover hota hai. You can see in this bullet, important part. You can mark it in your book. Mein organization structure covers all these aspects. Where I am scrolling on my cursor. You all could see. Proceed further. Should I proceed further? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes. Yes, you can see there is a difference between formal or informal organization. As we have talked about, you will read it. It will be much more clear to you. Then, what are the factors which influence the selection of structure? That what kind of structure should be workable in the organization? Impact of environment, first factor. Second factor, impact of technology. Third factor, important of psycho uh, psychosocial characteristics. On these three aspects, you try to decide the structure of the organization, technology, environment, and psychosocial. What kind of people, what kind of working sentiments, what kind of uh, aspects are there? For example, psychosocial, mein kya hua? if you talk about uh, countries overseas, they have a five-day work culture, or rather, aaj kal, uh, New Zealand, Denmark, the countries have four days working culture. Chal hai. Are you aware? They have a weekend, long weekend from Friday itself. Friday, yes, Saturday, yes. Sunday to enhance the efficiency. So, kai sari cheeze psychosocial environment se bhi impact karti hai that impacts the structure of the organization. That is psychosocial, depending upon the environmental social uh, aspects. Theek hai. So, abhi bhi, jaise you talk about uh, India itself, India mein bhi kai states mein five day working hai, kai, kai states mein nahi hai. They are working six days along. So, depending on the place where you are working, Depending upon the social environment where you're working, you take decisions of your structure. Or definitely on the environment and technology, you need to identify the structure. These are three factors to select the organization structure. Degree of decentralization, kitna control, kitna authority, kitna power, managers ko dena hai so that they can take decisions. That, that degree has to be decided. Decentralization and centralization. Line and staff, we have already discussed. Specialization of work, that what type of work to be given. This is a division of labor. Here are two terms used. Unity of command or scalar principle. Scalar chain, we have read Henry Fjall. Scalar chain talks about the state of authority. Should it flow straight line from superior to subordinate? Okay, and unity of command is also identical. Each subordinate should have one superior. Dono hi similar terms hai beta. They are closely related terms. Scalar principle and unity of command. There is a supervisor and there are the subordinates. Or there is a superior and there are the subordinates. Superior will guide the subordinates. Superior will have authority to command the subordinates. Span of control and levels of management we have talked about. Differentiation of task and activities, definitely. 
कई सारे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट बेसिस पे डिवाइड होते हैं इफ यू कैन सी दे आर बीन डिवाइडेड ऑन देश ऑफ फंक्शन फंक्शन लाइक एच आर मार्केटिंग फाइनेंस प्रोडक्शन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन प्रोडक्ट अगर आप एच यूएल का ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सक्चर देखिए हिंदुस्तान यूनिलेवर का तो उन्होंने प्रोडक्ट के बेसिस पे डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ प्रोडक्ट के बेसिस पे अपने ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर को डिफ्रेंशिएट कर रखा है ऑन लोकेशन ऑन जोग्राफिकल लोकेशन पे भी कई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर को डिफ्रेंशिएट करते हैं और कई बार लोग कस्टमर के बेसिस पे भी जैसे बी टू बी बी टू सी आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड आपने प्रोडक्ट सपोज आई एम डीलिंग इन टू टॉयट्रीज ऑल्सो आई एम डीलिंग इन टू कंज्यूमर गुड्स ऑल्सो आई एम डीलिंग इन टू स्पेशलिटी गुड्स ऑल्सो गुड्स के बेसिस पे प्रोडक्ट्स के बेसिस पे मैंने ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर बना रखा है जोग्राफिकल लोकेशन नॉर्थ जोन वेस्ट जोन साउथ जोन उसके बेसिस पे या फिर कस्टमर्स आई एम डीलिंग विद बिजनेस टू बिजनेस और आई एम डीलिंग विद बिजनेस टू कस्टमर्स यहाँ पे क्लियर है मैं आपको चार्ट्स भी दिखाऊंगी अभी स्क्रॉल करके कई सारे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन एस्पेक्ट पे भी डिवाइडेड होते हैं और जिसको मैट्रिक्स कहते हैं इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ऑल मैट्रिक्स आप समझते हैं नेट लाइक स्ट्रक्चर होता है ग्रिड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर होता है यू अंडरस्टैंड जनरल मीनिंग ऑफ मैट्रिक्स नेटवर्क लाइक लाइक जिसमें जाली होती है जाली यू अंडरस्टैंड नेट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड नेट कैन आई गेट अ रिस्पांस प्लीज या वी अंडरस्टैंड सो 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 दैट मींस इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ऑल इट कुड हैव ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ फंक्शन इट कुड हैव क्लासिफिकेशन ऑन बेसिस ऑफ प्रोडक्ट ऑन कस्टमर ऑन लोकेशन सबका अमलगमेशन होता है मैट्रिक स्ट्रक्चर ठीक है मैं आपको फटाफट से दिखाती हूँ कि फंक्शन स्ट्रक्चर कैसे दिखता है If the organization structure has divided itself on the basis of function, देखिए मैंने कहा था ना आपने इस तरह से divide किया structure को आपका production department होगा marketing department होगा HR department डिपार्टमेंट होगा फाइनेंस डिपार्टमेंट होगा फर्दर फिर क्लासिफिकेशन होगा ये ऑन दी बेसिस ऑफ फंक्शन है क्लियर है ये स्ट्रक्चर आर यू एबल टू सी दिस इज अट्रक्चर ऑफ अ फंक्शनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे हैव डिफ्रेंशिएटेड देर वर्क ऑन दी बेसिस ऑफ द फंक्शन मार्केटिंग फंक्शन एच आर फंक्शन फाइनेंस फंक्शन क्विकली आगे सर्किल स्क्रॉल करो ऑन दी बेसिस ऑफ प्रोडक्ट देखिए अब आप कैसे दिखता है ये देखिए प्रोडक्ट ए प्रोडक्ट बी प्रोडक्ट सी प्रोडक्ट बी फिर प्रोडक्ट ए के अंदर या बी के अंदर फर्दर मार्केटिंग प्रोडक्शन फाइनेंस उसका देख पा रहे हैं दिस इज ऑन दी बेसिस ऑफ प्रोडक्ट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज बीन डिसाइड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट ठीक है चलिए आगे दिस इज अ प्रोडक्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पहले वाला था फंक्शन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन This is on the basis of geographical location. देख पा रहे हैं आप जोन वाइज पंजाब रीजन डेली रीजन यूपी रीजन जम्मू कश्मीर हरियाणा राजस्थान कैन यू सी जोनल बेसिस मे बी वेस्ट ईस्ट साउथ जोग्राफिकल बेसिस के ऊपर जोग्राफिकल लोकेशन के बेसिस पे आपने ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर को क्लासीफाई कर रखा है आई यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड तीन पे समझ पा रहे हैं आप Yes, ma'am. Should we proceed further, please? Yes, uh, proceed, ma'am. This is a geographical location-based organization. Or, as I have told you, on a customer basis, it could be B two B, it could be B two C, it could be again some public sector organization, private sector organization. It could be a rural organization. It could be urban organization. Because your urban customer can also be a rural customer. You can see it. You can see, इसका स्ट्रक्चर का डिजाइन नहीं दिया हुआ है लेकिन इट टोटली हैव द सेम काइंड ऑफ फंक्शन बस कस्टमर्स डिवाइड कर लेते हैं कि हमें बिजनेस टू बिजनेस में डील करना है बिजनेस टू कस्टमर्स या रिटेल कस्टमर्स में डील करना है हमारा रूरल कस्टमर है हमारा अर्बन कस्टमर है हमारा गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर है हमारा प्राइवेट सेक्टर है उसके बेसिस पे आपका स्ट्रक्चर डिजाइन होता है और अगर आपको मैट्रिक स्ट्रक्चर का एग्जाम्पल देखना है तो यू कैन सी इट्स एन एल्गमेशन इट्स अ टोटैलिटी ऑफ ऑल It's a totality of all. Getting my point? इसके अंदर आप देख पा रहे हैं functions भी हैं इधर finance, production. If you can see my scroll, इधर product भी है. So it's a totality of combination of. Net is matrix or a network mesh like mesh जिसे कहते हैं M E S H. 
ठीक है चले आगे मैट्रिक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज क्लियर If the structure is clear, allocation of roles and duties becomes easy, and again administrating them or managing them becomes easy. If the structure is clear, नहीं हो तो management becomes difficult. So to manage things, to administer things, to uh, allocate work, structure of the organization is very essential. Even it identifies the flow of communication also. यहाँ पे example दे रखा है service organization structure को design करने का, which you will read through. That talks about organization structure. मैं quickly unit eleventh share कर लूँ आप लोगों के साथ. Should I quickly share unit eleven? I'm okay, proceed. Okay. Okay. I I am aware like you all have studied a subject called as business communication. Dr. Gargi Sharma, ma'am, is taking this this paper with you. I hope you had all, already two classes for this. Yes. Yes. So this whole unit talks about communication process. So in lieu ki aap logon ne pura ek subject padha hai iske upar, to isme aap apna contribute kar sakte hain. Can I skip with your permission? See this top unit talks about meaning of communication, process of communication, channels of communication, barriers of communication, and what should a manager do to make communication effective. आपका पूरा पेपर है बिजनेस कम्युनिकेशन का. Yes or no, students? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Can we can we skip this unit, please? Yes, ma'am. We can go to another new unit so that we can explore that. ये आप लोगों ने पूरा subject पढ़ा है यहाँ पे तो बहुत छोटा सा part एक unity है, एक chapter ही है. You have read more in detail. You have more detailed subject of business communication. Yes. Yes. Yes, ma'am. So can I skip this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll just share the next one. Is the screen visible? Yes, ma'am. Unit twelve talks about organization culture. What is culture? What do we mean by term culture? Culture is again a layman's word which is used numerous times. What is culture? The environment of the organization. कई बार हमने लोगों को सुना होगा कहते हुए कि oh I don't like the culture of that organization, so I'm quitting my job. That the culture of the organization is suffocating very very centralized so i'm not enjoying my work aisa suna hai humne yeah the do's and don'ts define the culture basically the environment of the organization which is amalgamation of various things the method of 
managing things the method of delegation the method of ethical uh, enhance or maybe unethical enhance maybe positive environment in the organization various things define the culture for the organization and generally the culture of the organization derives the business kai baar hota hai na ki people want to join google why the culture is very good i want to join google i don't want to join company x kyunki wahan pe bahut zyada nepotism hai have you heard about this yeah so sometimes what happen the culture defines the temperament of the organization and that lay, lays the platform of functioning kehne mein to lagta hai hame it is difficult i am audible and the screen is visible yes okay because i had a power fluctuation just for that i just confirm from you all so what happens sunne mein word culture looks to be very uh, what should i say halka sa aisa lagta hai very easy but in that it at substratum it becomes very complex for the uh, efficiency of the organization because if the organization culture is not great attainment of task becomes difficult sometimes there are cultural shifts innovations takes place people come up with new idea fresh thought process and that enhances the culture and the functioning and also motivates the team work team people team members to work work coincidentally or work in such a way that appreciates their aspects kai baar ghar mein bhi hame lagta hai ki the culture of the house is not good i'm not enjoying its way suffocating theek hai so that defines the culture of the organization is well if you talk so this topic covers about uh, concept of culture developing culture role of culture trait of culture building sustainable organization culture culture choice by culture chance creating ethical culture in the organization changing organization culture spirituality okay so when you talk about organization culture it helps to strengthen or people again again who is responsible to create and destroy the culture of the organization the people working it cannot be the non living things like walls and uh, Uh, furniture or the doors which define the culture it is the people or the human factor which is, defines the culture and they are responsible to maybe strengthen or weaken the culture of the organization theek hai are you able to get sometimes yes. it becomes a success factor also for the organization I must. I, I hope you might have heard about CSF critical success factor, which gives a competitive edge over the competitors. The culture of the organization also uh, plays a role of a success factor for the organization. Whatever we demonstrate in our day-to-day -day activity within the organization can also be a part of culture. You can see. Everything involved. अगर आप ये एक पिक्चर देख पा रहे हैं स्क्रीन पे एवरीथिंग इज अ पार्ट ऑफ कल्चर विद इन दी प्रिमिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के बाहर नहीं सब कुछ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के अंदर जो है विल प्ले अ रोल इन डिफाइनिंग द कल्चर ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सिंपल अगर कोई डेफिनेशन पढ़ना चाहे कल्चर की इट इज द वे पीपल डू थिंग्स इन दर्गेनाइजेशन बिलीव थॉट प्रोसेस कोर्स ऑफ एक्शन वैल्यूज द वे दे कैरी आउट देयर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लाइफ is culture aap dekh pa rahe hain if you can see 19124 wahan pe definition diya hua hai bunch of values internal beliefs characteristic behavioral patterns again form the culture of the organization and as i said earlier people define the culture of the organization it includes vision mission values norms symbol language assumption beliefs habits etc this is all part of culture there are few definitions being given okay should we proceed further culture value norms ke definitions diye hain aapko yahan pe ethos which form the culture of the organization beliefs philosophy anything which typically defines the features of organization culture include alignment innovation risk taking procession outcome orientation people orientation team orientation aggressiveness stability resilience regularity rules and regulations everything is a part of culture are you able to connect there is again an important term which talks as organization climate kai bar kya hota hai climate aur culture ko log interchangeably use karte hain ठीक है बट 
climate is a part of culture culture is a broader aspect basically the harmony between people is climate and they create that climate in the organization and climate contributes to the culture कई बार एग्जामिनेशन में क्वेश्चन आ सकता है कि एक्सप्लेन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कल्चर विद विद रेलेवेंट एग्जांपल ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन तो वहाँ किसी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एक्स वाई जेड का आपको कल्चर वहां पे डिफाइन करना पड़ेगा कि हाउ दे आर वर्किंग फाइन चले आगे रोल ऑफ कल्चर इट गिव्स डायरेक्शन इट डिफाइन्स द लाइन ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन विद इन दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड इट हेल्प पीपल गेट एंगेज इन अल्दी मैनर do you really think it is the benefit of the organization and the culture of the organization is positive harmonious it helps in improving the efficiency of the yes. people working there yes yes the commitment becomes high they become yes. more engaged they become more committed they become more loyal towards the organization i hope you might have heard about a term which is ocb can you write down somewhere it is the latest buzzword in the organization which is called as organization citizenship behavior we all are citizens of country india we all are patriots we showcase yes. our citizenship towards our country similarly people showcase their citizenship towards the organization in the organization that is ocb organization citizenship behavior their citizenship behavior towards their organization their commitment their loyalty their dedication towards organization is ocb organization citizenship behavior and organization culture directly influences ocb i hope you all agree yeah so yeah. if you have ocb towards higher part the culture is good and culture yes. is contributing to the ocb i don't feel like going to the organization in the morning what problem i am facing har subah main dhakke se bade pareshan ho ke forcefully organization aata hu one situation second situation i am very happy to go to the organization any time you ask me i am ready to move very happily is there a difference in two situations yes because first situation is bur burdensome the organization is burdensome to me the culture is burdensome to me so i don't want to go to that place in second situation the organization culture is healthy that keeps on motivating me attracting me to come to the organization give my best to the organization so culture definitely plays a vital role in the in the in the organizational productivity in the organizational success okay and engaging people making them more committed making them more loyal making them more uh, accountable and reduces attrition as well attrition you understand yes so leaving the organization so somewhere organization culture is also responsible for the attrition rate in the organization okay no organization culture can be developed basically the top management and the leaders are the major role players in setting the culture better uh, uh, we generally study that ways they are the role players agar apni family mein baat kare to our elders Our grandparents, our parents are the people who set the temperament or the culture of the uh, the family. Similarly, in the organization, also the top management and the leaders or the managers of the organization are responsible to set the positive culture of the organization. Okay, various types of organization you can see: strong culture, weak culture, two types: power culture, role culture. Power culture where power is used, rules define things. Power is centrally placed, demanding. and informal influence role culture formal roles and unambiguous roles are the characteristic feature people are aware what has to be done there people feel more secure stable task culture maybe by the efficiency the culture has been decided person culture individual roles personal level dekhiye ek model se define kiya gaya culture ko clan edocracy market and hierarchy plan internal focus and integration of flexibility adequacy differentiation with external focus market keeping external things into consideration ha yes ma'am yes i think we we can't see that screen which you which you talking about that uh, the graphical representation you are not being able to see uh, the screen is visible yeah it's just uh, no ma'am screen is, visible, is only like only the first time. slide is there Okay, it's not moving. Yeah. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. I'll reshare it. I'll reshare it. Okay. I'll stop sharing. Please do, man.
visible are you able to see and now it's moving okay you can see it's a model being given for organization culture which talks about uh, stability control and flexibility discretion which talks about four different types of culture clan edocracy market culture and hierarchical culture Plan culture talks about internal focus and integration of flexibility at workplace. That is people focused culture. Edocracy culture talks about differentiation with the focus at the external world. What is going in the surrounding? More flexibility. Okay, giving a cutting edge over the others, trying to motivate more uh, continuous innovations, go getters, risk takers. Example, bhi diya hua hai beta. Clan kind of a culture is Tata Steel. It is action oriented and ultra flexible, people oriented. Edocracy companies like Amazon. Market culture keeping differentiation, result oriented, deep rooted. Example: Apple. Hierarchical, rigid, clear line of command, like defense organizations. Beta students, I hope you are able to again connect. Generally, yes. in current time, hierarchical organizations are not, or hierarchical culture are not into existence. Okay, only they are visible where the their line of command is required, like defense organizations. Still, there is line of command over there. Palta nage chalega, to palta nage chalega. Okay, whatever their commander in chief has given them, they are doing that. But that is only being limited to defense organizations, and that is their demand and need also. Rather, all other organizations are not working on the hierarchical culture where there is stringent laws, stringent line of command. Okay, but defense organization it is their lead, so they are working on that hierarchical model only. I hope you are able to understand the difference. Yes, ma'am. The autocratic style होता था हिटलर के जमाने में, ठीक है, ठीक है, hierarchical culture. But आज के time में ये culture workable नहीं है. Only defense organization में working है क्योंकि वहाँ का work of nature ऐसा है. There the command has to be given. Okay. For example, can be defense companies for hierarchical culture. Okay, चले आगे तो ती cultural dimensional theory. This theory talks about relationship between society culture and its effect on the uh, value of the members of the society. Four categories का dimensions है if you can see on screen individual versus collectivism, uncertainty avoidance index. आपने एक टर्म सुना होगा वर्क फोर्स डाइवर्सिटी दिस इज द लेटेस्ट ग्लोबल चैलेंज इन दी बिजनेस वर्ल्ड बिकॉज पीपल आर वर्किंग इन एमएनसी कल्चर पीपल आर वर्किंग फ्रॉम डिफरेंट अरिना पीपल आर वर्किंग फ्रॉम डिफरेंट जेंडर डिफरेंट कल्चर तो हो सकता है मैनेजर्स को डाइवर्सिटी मैनेज करना डिफिकल्ट हो मैंने क्लास वन में भी इस पे डिस्कस किया था दिस इज अगेन दी करंट चैलेंज क्रॉस द ग्लोब टू मैनेज वर्कफोर्स डाइवर्सिटी पीपल कमिंग फ्रॉम डाइवर्स बैकग्राउंड डाइवर्स कल्चर्स ठीक है आजकल लोगों को ग्रुप में काम करवाना भी डिफिकल्ट है मेकिंग दम वर्क इन अ टीम इज अ डिफिकल्ट टास्क फॉर अ मैनेजर पीपल लाइक टू वर्क इंडिविजुअली Okay, so making them work in a group is again a challenge. So first challenge is this only: collective versus individual. Next is defining the avoidance index, tolerance. People are not ready to tolerate things in society. Tolerance level is going low. People are ready to reject more rather than accept. People are working on not expected or status of queue, degree of uncertainty, laws. Low degree of index. Okay, so that is again also a cultural challenge. People are ready to create ruckus. People are ready to reject. People are not ready to accommodate. People are not clear with what they are striving to. People have again right, so they are accessing their rights. They are not clear that whether they are correctly accessing or not. So that is again a cultural challenge. Next is gender. differentiation between uh, male and female at the workplace that is also again a culture aapne suna hai 
various uh, it sectors are nowadays rather not nowadays down the line 5 6 years they are recruiting more female staff to manage the, uh, the culture of the organization why because feminine touch brings that calmness in the system rather than aggression so various companies are going for recruitment of uh, females so that the balance of the nature culture is be maintained long term orientation short term orientation again how long futuristic approach or short term approach like agar agar apan baat kare latest havoc been created by country sri lanka on economic grounds they were not long term planned yes the crisis financial crisis of sri lanka yes or no yes ma'am so that is again long term vision and short term vision that also defines the culture okay chale aage should i proceed further these are few of the qualities of great organization culture or these all traits construct great organization culture like alignment appreciation trust performance resilience teamwork integrity innovation and psychological safety these are the main ingredients of positive healthy organization culture jab hum recipe banate hain koi achhi si dish banate hain to bahut sare ingredients use karte hain to kisi bhi organization ke organization culture ko fruitful banane ke liye positive healthy banane ke liye these are the major ingredients major contributors alignment appreciation trust performance resilience teamwork integrity innovation and psychological safety agar ye sari cheeze kisi bhi organization culture ka part hogi that is a picture perfect organization culture are you able to relate aap yes ma'am dekh pa rahe hain screen chal rahi hai aap sab ke liye yes ma'am yes yes chal raha okay okay how you can build a sustainable uh, organization culture these are few of these landmark steps recognition voice to the employees give them chance to speak give them a platform to give their views give let them express themselves let them give their opinions and feelings that is going to make a good organization culture human intervention don't make it a mechanistic organization make it a um, uh, organization with human approach define redefine culture to advocate the leaders outlive the organization values forge teams try to pull team work rather than going for individual work focus on holistic development of people along with the development of the organization again making uh, culture to be an intangible uh, approachable aspect tailor made employee experiences proactive uh, allyship etc these are the main aspects to enhance the barriers to develop organization culture or to create sustainable organization culture ma'am okay, uh, uh, ma'am uh, tata is the perfect example of human yeah culture. that is a live perfect example on It humanitarian was, uh, grounds uh, very when, good the, example. when the incident of 911 took place uh, in bombay uh, no, it was not 9, 9/11 sorry 11. it was a, it was a target uh, attack 2611 uh, 2611 Hmm. then he compensated for all the you know street vendors also that Those is the human side that yeah. defines people that defines values that defines the way you want to carry your organization so yeah. every time tata has become the example setter at different modes so Ab people like to, like to get associated with that brand because that if ta- brand. Hmm. Yes. taj pe jab attack hua tha jo bhi usme housekeeping mein the jo chefs the un उनको ये जरूरी नहीं था कि अपने गेस्ट को बचाना बट इट वाज बिकॉज़ ऑफ देयर कल्चर उनके लिए गेस्ट्स वर द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट बिकॉज़ प्राइमरी ट्रेनिंग उनको दी गई थी यस प्रायोरिटी उनको बहुत अच्छा इस पे केस भी लिखा गया है अबाउट द ह्यूमन फेस ऑफ टाटा एंड इट हैज बीन कोटेड वेल एंड अगेन सो दैट दैट सेट्स द कल्चर फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इवन पीपल लाइक टू जॉइन इंफोसिस दैट दे आल्सो हैव दे आल्सो शोकेस द सेम ओके no so the, again they are the example setters in the market in the corporate organization yeah should we should, we, should, I, should i stop sharing with this part this is almost covered
we all can study otherwise i can take 13th and 14th unit also again there is one important uh, topic we talk about culture by choice and culture by chance it's a good part do read this uh, this part of this particular unit ठीक है चॉइसेस यू सेलेक्ट योर ओन एस्पेक्ट यू ऑल यू सेलेक्ट योर ओन इंग्रेडिएंट्स ऑफ द कल्चर ठीक है एंड बाय चांस चांस बाय समटाइम्स यू डोंट हैव अ कंट्रोल ओवर सो दैट इज बाय चांस सो डू रीड दिस पार्ट दिस इज आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट दिस गिव्स द फेस दैट हाउ कल्चर डिफाइन एंड हाउ पीपल आर ऑफ फॉर कल्चर इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू सेट इट द टेंपरामेंट इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन creating ethical organization culture is need of the r nowadays in the world of unethics or in the world of what should i say uh, where people are ready to cut each other it becomes a challenging task for the manager to create a ethical environment in the organization okay so it becomes again a challenging task for the organization to be an ethical organization in today's world like these are few of the principles to be followed by manager which can help in creating ethical environment be a role model कम्युनिकेट इथिकल एक्सपेक्टेशन आप खुद ही अगर अनिथिकल अप्रोच लगाएंगे तो फॉरगेट अबाउट टीम मेंबर्स टू बी इथिकल सो यू नीड टू बी द रोल सेटर यू नीड टू बी द मॉडल टू टू इनकलकेट इथिकल एस्पेक्ट कम्युनिकेट इथिकल वैल्यूज इथिकल ट्रेनिंग रिवॉर्ड इथिकल कोड इथिकल एक्ट प्रोवाइड प्रोटेक्टिव मैकेनिज्म अगर कोई इथिकल हो रहा है उसके अगेंस्ट लोग फॉल प्ले कर रहे हैं तो हैव एन प्रोटेक्टिव मैकेनिज्म इन दर्गेनाइजेशन मोटिवेट इथिकल अप्रोच so these are few of the principles to be adopted by the manager see how cultural change can be taken examining justification for changed behavior changing behavior cultural communication removing members who reject the new culture hire and socialize members which fit in the new culture these are interventions of changing organization culture if you can see step by step it has been shown step 1 step 2 3 4 and 5 can i share the 13th unit please this is about spirituality in the organization this is also again a buzzword in the organization nowadays various sessions various seminars webinars have been conducted to balance stress and work life balance of employees theek hai so this is again one of the new thing which has been added as a part down the line 5 years now people are more working on the spirituality of the people working in the organization kai baar log confuse ho jate hain spirituality doesn't means that you are going to the himalayas you are leaving the materialistic world but spirituality sometimes benevolence trust again open mindedness that is also part of spirituality okay uh, should i share the 13th unit yes please ma'am okay so that we just discuss 13th and 14th unit uh, before just winding up Uh, today the class strength is very low what happened people are comfortable they'll manage uh, no i think it's uh, i mean uh, the the plan session was from 8:45 to 9:45 so they might have left due to the so, extension of time yeah 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 okay, okay that might be the reason okay i'll just quickly then wind up so that you all have been able to further i just wanted to complete all units that was my like uh, thought process so i have prolonged the class i i apologize for that but i just wanted to cover everything yeah. before we finally close so i apologize for the time like uh, actually no, i was no, not no, been able to you, you don't need... over the time <laughs> i just no, no you don't need to ma'am i mean I just went yes, into yes, the please, flow. Sir. Actually, I just, I just couldn't no. keep a check over the time. Ma'am, please. No, you're just helping us out. Yeah, please carry on. Okay, okay. I'll just try to quickly do it. Ah, uh, abhi mera dhan gaya. You just highlighted the time factor, so I just, I just saw that it is 
already prolonged class but let's let's just wind up please now huh? just few more uh, minutes and we'll just take a queries and then just we'll wind up i hope your schedule is not getting disturbed Okay, I'll just just quickly I'll just quickly uh, uh, wrap up with unit thirteen and unit fourteen. Unit thirteen is again important from the aspect of examination because generally you find questions on managing change. Okay, generally you find questions on managing change in the organ uh, in the question paper. Change is what? Again, it's the need of the hour. If you are stat static, if you are stable, you'll not be able to survive in the in the in the uh, business environment because business environment is dynamic. Okay, so the organization also need, keeps to keep on changing and adopting to the change taking place in the environment. If you become static, you are being kicked out of the uh, business world. Okay, agility, agility is the need of our. Yeah, 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 exactly. Generally, this topic. Please do read it carefully. This topic is again examiner's fa uh, uh, favorite topic. Generally, you find questions on managing change. So, change management is again an essential ingredient for the success of any of the organization. Managers should be open to the changes and should be uh, uh, well equipped to manage change. Because sometimes, what happens? People resist change. People don't want to go out of their comfort zone. So, the manager should have an ability to make them work out of their comfort zone. And accept changes which are taking place in the environment. Okay, so it, this this particular topic uh, unit covers about change management, nature of change, types of models of change, process of change, reasons why people resist change, how to overcome the resistance of change, various forms of change, strategies to evaluate change, appreciate the role of change agent, and understand the concept of organization development and organization development inter interventions. Quickly, I'm moving the slide. What is change? It refers that the changes occurring across the organization is called as organization change. It uh, implies a change in the fundamental orientation as well as certain processes. Various changes could be change in the mission, change in the implementation of new technology, restructuring operations, mergers, acquisitions, total quality management, re-engineering. These are few of the examples of change in the organization. जब मर्जर एक्विजिशन होते हैं तब देर आर यू चेंजेस टेकिंग प्लेस इन दर्गनाइजेशन आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर मर्जर्स एंड एक्विजिशन ओके द की ड्राइवर्स ऑफ चेंज कुड बी टेक्नोलॉजिकल इनोवेशन ट्राई टू बिकम कॉम्पिटेटिव ट्राई टू टेक कॉम्पिटेटिव एडवांटेज एंड ग्लोबल चेंजेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल अभी पैंडमिक में ग्लोबल लेवल पे चेंज आया so companies had to adjust and uh, accommodate to the changes taking place kai bar kya hota hai aap apne level pe karte hain kai bar aap uh, organization level pe karte hain kai bar aap uh, corporate level pe karte hain kai bar aap country level pe karte hain kai bar aap global level pe karte hain to global um, uh, sabse broad level of change hota hai work from home concept bhi pandemic ke baad hi aaya ha so there are again some, some positive taking away, away and some uh, negative take away some positive take aways and some Negative takeaway. So, the best takeaway is work from home, isn't? Uh, yes, be or no? People have no. debate over it. Abhi bhi people have a debate over it. Few are in uh, in favor of and few are against of. Yes. Ma'am, as I said, nine to five job mein to you are done after five, right? Ha. Uh, but work from home mein jaise you are still seven. you are you are still taking the class. Twenty four into seven, wala. <laughs> yeah, twenty four into seven. Ma'am, मतलब उसमें आप You cannot cut the cords uh, and say goodbye in the work yeah. from home class, na. <laughs> you have to attend the meeting and you have to conclude it and you have to take. Uh, But I am taking was... this class from my campus only. वो तो फिर एक general timing हो गया ना. Yeah, I am taking my class from uh, my campus and rather uh, during last uh, second lockdown also. since june we are on campus and taking classes online because we were not supposed to call the students on campus but we were doing it from campus only we were not from home but the classes was just online <laughs> okay nevertheless we have again takeaways also from uh, like uh, work from home and again there are some uh, negative aspect also that you cannot cut short that as you well said you cannot cut the cords you are available 24 into 7 even even on the weekdays and on the weekends and on the sundays so yeah. nevertheless uh, coming other, uh, further to the change aspect sometimes an individual uh, level individual person wants to make a change sometimes at the company level sometimes at the corporate level sometimes at the national level and sometimes at the global level the changes have to be adopted 
nature of change, process of change, if you can see, preparing for change, beginning the change process, coming up the changes into the system. There are various uh, popular models. Up to the most popular model, yeah, you have uh, Kurtz Lewin model, which talks about unfreezing, changing, and refreezing. Purana hatao, ठीक है. Purana band karo, naya change lao, or naya change ko fix kar do. These are three steps. Very popular model of change, Lewin's model. इस पे भी क्वेश्चन आता है. Unfreezing, changing, and refreezing. Purana delete karo, naya introduce karo, or naya ko fix kar do. You can see three steps: unfreezing, changing, and refreezing. The slide is not moving. Moving? Not moving? Yeah. Now it's moving. Now it's moving. You can see this model, Lewin's model. Learn, unlearn, and relearn. Yes, yes. More model per hi hai ye. Learn, unlearn, and relearn. वैसे ही unfreezing, change, and refreezing. Okay. So there are few models which you can go through. सबसे ज़्यादा popular model, Lewin's model ही है. and people talk about adkar models also which talk about awareness desire knowledge ability and reinforcement again this is also a popular model talking about five steps awareness about need for change making people participate in and support change adapting knowledge how to change ability to change or execute change and reinforcement that is rewarding the change if change is positive reward if change is negative punish that is enforcement punish in the sense uh, you get a negative outcome out of that there are various models which you can read through about change like in these models also popular people resist change because at organization level they have issues at individual level also people resist change ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लेवल पे क्या होता है कई बार लोगों को लगता है कि हमारा बजट हिल जाएगा हम हमारे बहुत ज्यादा मेजर चेंजेस होंगे तो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टेक अप बैक स्टेप ठीक है मैम मोस्ट ऑफ द एम्प्लॉइज वांट्स टू वर्क इन द स्टेटस क्वो मोड ओनली बिकॉज़ दे डोंट वांट टू एट इंडिविजुअल लेवल दैट इज एन इंडिविजुअल लेवल ओके सो टू लेवल्स पीपल रेजिस्ट चेंज एट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लेवल द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन होल लाइक वांट टू रेजिस्ट द चेंज as well as at individual level people don't want to come out from their comfort zone they want to work on the same level they don't want to do something new they resist the change so at two levels the change can be resisted at individual and at individual level why they resist change fear of unknown loss of control loss of face loss of competency loss and need for security poor timing these are reasons at individual level which you can go through how the manager can uh, strategize overcoming the change or how they can resist uh, overcome the resistance to change these are the few of the strategies different types of organization change design and restructuring design mein change kiya turn around change whole management has been changed mergers and acquisition led to change बिजनेस प्रोसेस री इंजीनियरिंग लेड टू चेंज टोटल क्वालिटी ऑफ मैनेजमेंट लेड टू चेंज हमने पहले भी पढ़ा था आउटसोर्सिंग तो दीज ऑल आदि रीजन टू चेंज इवेल्युएशन द चेंज वेरी इजेंशियल कोई भी चीज आप नया लाते हैं तो इवेल्युएटेड वेदर इज वर्किंग इन योर फेवर और नॉट इट्स नॉट वर्किंग डोंट गो विद इट एंड इफ द फीडबैक इज पॉजिटिव गो विद इट सो इवेल्युएशन इज ऑलवेज असेंशियल फॉर एनी ऑफ द सिस्टम OD again it is managing change in multiple facets it is an effort plan and organization wide manage from top to increase organization effectiveness health of the organization during the change times so managing change in multiple facets is organization development okay it is an attempt or it acts as a catalyst to change or to execute change in the organization इस पे भी क्वेश्चन आता है एग्जामिनेशन पे ओडी इंटरवेंशन एंड वॉट इज ओडी दैट इज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डेवलपमेंट इंटरवेंशन एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डेवलपमेंट एचआर में अगर आप जब स्पेशलाइजेशन में जाते हैं तो पूरा एक स्पेशलाइजेशन पेपर है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डेवलपमेंट इंटरवेंशन पे यहाँ पे हम बहुत स्मॉल पोर्शन इंट्रोडक्टरी पोर्शन पढ़ रहे हैं प्लानिंग इंटरवेंशन फर्स्ट इंटरवेंशन इज प्लानिंग इंटरवेंशन देन इज ट्रेनिंग इंटरवेंशन two types of intervention planning and training if you can see on your screen i'm just scrolling it quickly back to talk about 
planning intervention planning intervention it talks about life and career planning organization mirroring mirroring visioning confrontation meetings survey feedback force field analysis cultural audit training intervention may educating and training coaching counseling leadership development mentoring transaction analysis stocking and life positions they can be short note on uh, planning interventions and training interventions ye hr specialization ka bahut important part hai od interventions over here you have to just study a snapshot but in case in second year if you go with hr specialization you find a complete paper on od interventions so this talks about unit 13 मैं क्विकली एक बार यूनिट इस पे केस स्टडी भी दिया हुआ इफ यू कैन स्टडी स्मॉल केसलेट इज बीन गिवन अबाउट अजीम पेंटी ऑन मैनेजमेंट ऑफ चेंज ये सैंपल केसलेट है एक आपके लिए कैन यू सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन यस एंड देयर इज वन मोर केसलेट बीन गिवन ओके आई विल जस्ट क्विकली शेयर यूनिट 14 इट टॉक्स अबाउट सीएसआर आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड सीएसआर कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पांसिबिलिटी यस मैम यस यस मैम बहुत सारे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सी एस आर पे वर्क करते हैं फ्यू पीपल डू इट विलिंगली फ्यू पीपल डू इट ऑन मैंडेटरी नॉर्म्स एंड फ्यू पीपल डू इट ऑन अडियोकर आस्पेक्ट सो अगेन इम्पॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट फॉर एनी ऑफ दर्गेनाइजेशन आई होप दिस स्क्रीन इज विजिबल टू ऑल यस यस आई थिंक द गवर्नमेंट ऑल्सो मेड इट मैंडेटरी फॉर देर आर थ्री लेवल्स ऑफ सी एस आर first is mandatory corporate social responsibility second is responsibility or accountability and third is corporate social responsibility jo sabse acha level hai wo self done corporate social responsibility ka hai jahan pe corporate organization khud se aage se aata hai aur karta hai second category wo hai jahan pe agar society ne aware kiya hai company ko apni responsibility fulfill karne ke liye to they have become accountable okay we will do it और जो सबसे लोवेस्ट है वो मैंडेटरी जहां पे गवर्नमेंट ने मैंडेट किया है तब वो कर रहे हैं तो देर आर थ्री लेवल्स ऑफ सी एस आर वन डूइंग इट फ्रॉम देयर ओन साइड सेकेंड रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू दी सोसाइटीज नीड एंड थर्ड ऑन मैंडेटरी गाउंट तो कई कंपनीज अपने आप से करती हैं कई कंपनी सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी जब सोसाइटी कॉल करती है फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर वॉज लाइफ केस ऑफ नेस्ले नूडल्स नेस्ले मैगी की इट कंटेन्स लेड तो लोगों ने उसके ऊपर इश्यू रेस किया तो कंपनी ने अपना सारा प्रोडक्ट मार्केट से उठा लिया एक बार ऐसा आया था कैडबरी डेयरी मिल्क में देवर वर्म्स कमिंग आउट तो कस्टमर्स ने उसके ऊपर फीडबैक दिया तो कंपनी ने आउटगोइंगली बाहर आके अपना सारा प्रोडक्ट मार्केट से उठा लिया ऐसे ही नैनो इफ यू रिमेम्बर टाटा नैनो इज लॉन्च इट वॉज ऑन रोड हैविंग सम इशूज तो कंपनी ने वो सारी गाड़ियां वहां पे से रोड पर से उठवा ली क्योंकि पब्लिक ने क्वेश्चन रेज किया सो दैट इज ऑन अकाउंटेबल नोट जब पब्लिक क्वेश्चन रेज करती है तो कंपनी अपना अकाउंटेबिलिटी शो करती है थर्ड कैटेगरी भाई मैंडेटरी है उतना ही करती है गवर्नमेंट ने मैंडेट नॉर्म्स लगा दिए हैं कि आपको स्टेटरी वार्निंग देनी है प्रोडक्ट्स के ऊपर तो वो देती है नहीं तो देना नहीं चाहती कौन अपने प्रोडक्ट पर स्टेटरी वार्निंग पहले से देता है कि मेरा प्रोडक्ट यूज मत करो तो देर आर समेटरी ऑब्लिगेशन बाई गवर्नमेंट फ्यू कंपनी डू इट अंडर मैंडेटरी ऑब्लिगेशन few do it as an accountability jab society se questions raise hota hai and few do few do it willingly can you understand three levels of csr yes yes ma'am okay main quickly scroll kar leti hu kyunki it is very common topic general topic which is been uh, known by every one of us and csr is essential in nowadays students is a must people do various things like people are companies are running various uh, hospitals various education centers various firms to accomplish their social responsibility act it gives two things it gives two benefit to the organization one it accomplish their csr uh, roles and second it gives them brand value in the in the society do you agree yes so popular case yes, yes. for example de rakha hai yahan pe tata motors ka as in csr activity of their case study me de rakha it's a, you can go through it's a good case to talk about the csr activity of tata theek okay. hai so it talks about meaning definition of csr 
इट टॉक्स अबाउट वेरियस प्रोस्पेक्टिव ऑफ सी एस आर इन डिफरेंट कंट्रीज ये आप एग्जिबिट जरूर पढ़िएगा इन द बॉक्स जो समराइज कर रखा है कुछ सिलेक्टिव सिटी कंट्रीज का सी एस आर प्रस्पेक्टिव बताया बताया हुआ है ठीक है सो काइंडली डू रीड या डिफरेंट कंट्रीज हाउ सी एस आर इज बीन मैंडेट ओके डिफरेंट कंट्रीज का सी एस आर बताया हुआ है यहाँ पे हाउ सी एस आर रजिस्ट्रेशन एक्ट इवॉल्व इन कंट्री इंडिया वॉलेंट्री गाइडलाइंस आप ये जो भी बॉक्स में एग्जिबिट्स uh, हैं जरूर पढ़िएगा फॉर योर नॉलेज आस्पेक्ट एंड टू कोट दीज एग्जाम्पल्स इन द एग्जामिनेशन नाइन प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ नेशनल वॉलेंट्री गाइडलाइंस कंपनीज एक्ट एंड सी एस आर हाउ दे वर्क टूगेदर हाउ सी एस आर कमिटी इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल एंड वॉट इज ए रोल्स एंड ड्यूटीज सी एस आर एक्टिविटीज सी एस आर कमिटीज सी एस आर पॉलिसी सी एस आर एक्सपेंडिचर डिस्प्ले ऑफ सी एस आर एक्टिविटीज ऑन वेबसाइट आप कोई भी कंपनी का वेबसाइट खोलिए और उनका सी एस आर एक्टिविटीज देखिए दीज आर एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सी एस आर एक्टिविटीज यू कैन कोट इन यूर एग्जामिनेशन आइडेंटिफाई कंपनी ऑफ योर चॉइस एंड रीड दियर सी एस आर एक्टिविटीज हर कंपनी के वेबसाइट पर उनकी सी एस आर एक्टिविटीज हाईलाइटेड होती है बेटा बेनिफिट्स एंड ड्राइवर्स ऑफ सी एस आर एक्टिविटीज एथिक्स इन इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वेरी एसेंशियल और एथिक्स इन सी एस आर पर्सनल एथिक प्रोफेशनल एथिक एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एथिक्स थ्री लेवल पे एथिक्स है एट इंडिविजुअल लेवल एट प्रोफेशनल लेवल एंड एट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लेवल आई होप वी अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ एथिक्स values and beliefs which make things differentiated what is right and what is wrong what is fair and what is unfair the theories of ethics contractarian utilitarian and dentology you can read through with this please kindly do read these these examples csr at unilever with the help of this theory utilitarian theory aapko bataya hua hai these are three theories of ethics a study of tata motors has been discussed to talk about ethics and csr beautiful case do read so that talks about unit 14 which talks about csr and ethics in the organization इंटरेस्टिंग है बिल्कुल स्टोरी टाइप यूनिट है ये आपका आप एक जैसे स्टोरी पढ़ते हैं वैसे अगर पढ़ेंगे तो यू यू फील इंटरेस्टेड इन रीडिंग दिस यूनिट ओके मैम शुड आई स्टॉप शेयरिंग एंड नाउ वी कैन डिस्कस एनी क्वेरीज इफ यू हैव आई होप एवरीबॉडी हैज दी स्टडी मटेरियल एंड दे हैव एक्सेस दी स्टडी मटेरियल ऑफ डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स नाउ वी डू हैव द मटेरियल बट इट हैजंट बीन एक्सेस्ड येट ओके ओके स्टिल नीड्स टू बी no no issues you have sufficient time to access okay and uh, kindly go through i hope uh, these two day sessions would have been a help for you to at least study uh, mba 01 code for you at least you can now go through at least my objective was ki ek bar sara hum scroll kar le so that reading becomes easy for all of you i hope uh, the safeguards are work that at least we are aware what what all units are been covered like what units have within them so that we can make a connect to them that was my only objective to cover all the units by scrolling quickly i hope it suffices mm. and makes your task easy so of course it will make our study easier ha huh. So, if anybody have any questions now, any submissions, so please kindly the forum is open for the discussion because till till time I was speaking, it was one way communication. Now I I hope the forum is open if somebody wants to share and contribute, because my one one query to... one query it is there whether yes. uh, the reporting officer and reviewing officer uh, define culture or contributes to the culture. uh which two officers can i get back to this please the reporting officer and reviewing officer okay then how we define these two officers reporting and reviewing suppose if i talk about a manager what is the role of a manager for a team member he can uh, he can play the role of both officers reviewing as well as reporting no reviewing? no no let's say let's say i am i am reporting to my boss right yeah and uh, उसके ऊपर एक और बॉस है 
I'm just quoting the same Ashwini ji. Just try to listen to me. Uh, manager can play a role of both reviewing as well as reporting. He has yes. to re report to his senior and he has to yes. review his subordinate. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Manager can play yes. both roles. Yes. yes. So he can set the culture yes. at both the ends. Yes. First and foremost, he need to be very much transparent and ethical. Yes. 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 मैनेजर अपनी सीट बचाने के लिए अपने सुपीरियर को बहुत अच्छा अच्छा बताता है <laughs> और अपने सबऑर्डिनेट को सप्रेस करने के लिए ही वर्क्स अगेंस्ट तो फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट फॉर अ मैनेजर और फॉर अ पर्सन हु इज प्लेइंग अ रोल ऑफ बोथ अ रिव्यूइंग एंड अ रिपोर्टिंग ऑफिसर ही नीड्स टू बी वेरी वेरी एथिकल एंड ट्रांसपेरेंट ही नीड टू सब्साइड टू हिज एथिकल प्रिंसिपल्स ओके हिज बिलीव्स इन वैल्यू सिस्टम सो ही कैन बी अ गुड एग्जांपल सेटर एट बोथ द एंड्स by True. reporting he can be positive he can report the best side that means whatever actually has been going on to be reported positively to the superior aisa nahi ki apna kursi bachane ke liye main apni tareef batorne ke liye mera acha side present kar diya aur team ka bura side present kar diya i am not a good leader good role uh, example set of comments yeah yeah ye keh diya ki sara kaam maine hi kiya exactly exactly that is unethical approach dekhiye aisa karke pata hai bahut din tak aap sukoon wali life nahi jee payenge it is a short term approach which i feel it's a shortcut right. for success right. it will right. not long last so it has the example set of the manager both as a reporting officer and a reviewing officer kya ho gaya ye ek error hota hai ashwini ji ob mein hum ek error padte hain ise self serving error kehte hain परसेप्शन एरर होता है ये हम हमारी परफॉर्मेंस तो हमेशा ओवर एस्टिमेट करके बताते हैं और दूसरे की परफॉर्मेंस जब जज करनी होती है हम उसे अंडर एस्टिमेट करते हैं क्यों क्योंकि आई वांट टू ओवर एस्टिमेट आओ आई एम द बॉस सो दैट्स एन एरर पीपल डू इट नहीं नहीं अब 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 क्या ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में एक और आ गया कि लेट्स से वी डिवाइड द यू नो रेटिंग एज आउटस्टैंडिंग वेरी गुड एंड गुड राइट सो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ये कहता है कि यू कैन ओनली गिव 30% only outstanding. वो 30% कैसे डिसाइड होगा? Unless, uh, कि या तो बहुत एथिकल हो कि नहीं जो सबसे अच्छा है मैं उसको सबसे अच्छा दूंगा और जो परफॉर्म नहीं करा उसको नहीं दूंगा बट टू प्रूव वन सेल्फ की नहीं मेरे को तो आउटस्टैंडिंग मिलना चाहिए so how what happens companies are nowadays becoming smart. They are laying down the rules and policies and ranking system very clearly. Okay, and if this system is well in line these things will not take this agar employees ko pata hai ki mujhe itne pe score karna hai ye mera benchmark hai ye mera rating point hai ye mera score hai aajkal it is very much been worked out by the organizations and again thanks to the technology all the systems are well in place to agar aapne itna kiya hai to wo aapka register ho jayega gone are the days ki mujhe mere manager ke room mein jaake roz dhok lagana hai ki sir good morning sir good afternoon वो वाला टाइप्स, सो आई थिंक नाउ दिस डी ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस आर इंप्रूविंग। 360 डिग्री फीडबैक इज़ आल्सो देयर। इसलिए टॉकिंग अबाउट 720 डिग्री फीडबैक नाउ डेज, अ न्यू टर्म। व्हिच इज़ नॉट डिफिकल्ट। वो नहीं सुना हुआ मैं हमने। नहीं, इट इज़ अ न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट अश्विनी जी, इन एचआर नाउ डेज, एचआर पर्सनल्स आर टॉकिंग अबाउट 720 डिग्री आल्सो। आई एम नॉट एन एचआर पर्सन, अदरवाइज़ आई वुड हैव गिवन यू अ इनडेप व्यू ऑफ 720 डिग्री। मंजू मैम इज़ टेकिंग एयर एचआर पेपर ना Okay. Ma'am can discuss with you. Okay. 720 degree appraisal. People are the research is going on on this topic also. Okay. 720 degree appraisal. Mm -hmm. 720 degree to social media ke bina to possible nahi hai. <laughs> And again social media is biased. Yeah. Sometimes things are deviating you from the originality or reality. True. And people get carried away. Bahut zyada power hai abhi social media ke paas. Since since pandemic क्योंकि सबने बहुत ज्यादा सोशल मीडिया फॉलो किया अब एक और एग्जांपल मैं इसमें ऐड करना चाहूंगा मैम कि जो एलन मस्क है ही ट्राइंग टू बाय दिस ट्विटर बिकॉज उसमें ऐसा होता है कि इफ ही पुट्स एनी मतलब ही नीड्स अ स्पेशल परमिशन फ्रॉम द कंट्री बिफोर ट्वीटिंग अगर वो नहीं ट्वीट करता है तो उस पर एक एक अमाउंट डिफाइंड है एंड उसके बाद बिकॉज ही मेक सेवन हंड्रेड मिलियन बाई ट्वीटिंग इट एंड नॉट रिपोर्टिंग इट सो एट द एंड ऑफ दी इज मेकिंग द प्रॉफिट 
that's the reason yeah that's the power of social media na yes in current times true any any anything uh, yeah. in the paper any questions shikan ji hirik ji priyanka jaydeep ji was no any queries because i can see nothing nothing ma'am if, if nothing uh, i mean regarding the class today uh, is mrs batia mamta batia ji available wo oh, mamta ji hai i think so in the participant list she is there today you can directly have question regarding that in the rc i suppose excuse me क्या but i just wanted to like uh, keep a command over that uh, so that all our units and blocks have been covered ma'am how will be the question format for examination mamta like, ma'am is uh, joining ashmi ji mamta ma'am is joining maybe she will be a great help to us for this question okay fine because uh, the paper pattern would be new for your batch it's your first online batch so we are not in uh, like rather i as a course instru instructor is not in a position to tell you what will be the paper pattern it would be descriptive so let ma'am join and ma'am just clarify us for the same uh, with, i mean uh, case studies uh, or some descriptive questions yeah see uh, for sample studying i can just guide you you can just log into ignu platform to see the old year papers which can help you to tell you that that time it used to be again uh, descriptive six questions and one case case study so the old pattern you can just see for sample but what will be the new pattern i am not into a status to just tell you maybe ma'am could help us good morning all of you good morning mamta ma'am how are you very fine ma'am now you should have two questions yes ma'am actually i just wanted to complete all the blocks with the students unke query nahi the to mujhe laga mujhe hi like i should take all the units for them at least it becomes easy for them to study okay okay great Thank you so much. Uh, Shikanji and Ashmi ji has few questions regarding question paper. I suppose the uh, pattern. Since yours is the best, first batch, Shikanji, so we cannot help you much in this context. So let us see when the paper comes. Okay, maybe the faculty will be able to give you some sample of when they uh, declare the dates of the examination. Whether the examination is going to be online or offline. The first question will be Aida. अगर ऑनलाइन एग्जाम है तो उसी हिसाब के पेपर सेट होगा और ऑफलाइन है फिर तो जैसा चल रहा है मोर और लेस उसी पैटर्न पे रहेगा तो एक बार आप पुराने पेपर देख लो दूसरा जो है इग्नो के जितने भी क्वेश्चन आते हैं भूमिका ने भी देखा होगा वो सब प्रैक्टिस ओरिएंटेड होते हैं दे आर मोर ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल बेस्ड क्वेश्चन एप्लीकेशन टू टेक सिचुएशंस दैट यू फेस इन योर वर्क डे टू डे ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस तो काफी चीज तो उस पर बेस्ड होती है देखते हैं और आज तीन बजे ओरिएंटेशन भी है हम लोगों का फैकल्टी का और एकेडमिक काउंसलर्स का तो ऑल दिस एकेडमिक काउंसलर्स विल बी देयर तो आपके दो चीजें हम ये भी पूछ लेंगे क्वेश्चन का भी क्योंकि जो भी प्रैक्टिस हम लोगों के सामने आई है आपकी बात और एक आप लोग असाइनमेंट्स की डेट्स की बात कर रहे हो सो विल पुट दीज टू थिंग्स बिफोर द कंसर्न अथॉरिटी और जो भी डिसीजन होगा वो आप लोगों को करने कर दिया जाएगा Shikanji, you also had Thank some question for ma'am. Yes, Shikanji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mrs. Bhatia, yeah. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, आज का uh, आपका meeting आज है बोल के बोले थे. You had some. Uh, I I heard you saying that at three o'clock you plan for the meeting. Okay, so जो भी होगा भी करेंगे. Yeah, so I have. Yeah. I have two. Uh, I mean, request to put forward. I did one. दो दिन पहले मैं आपको रिक्वेस्ट करा था कि यू शुड लुक इन टू द एक्सटेंशन ऑफ द असाइनमेंट डेट्स बिकॉज़ हां मैंने बोला भी था तो मेल ये ऑलरेडी फॉरवर्ड इट टू दिस स्कूल एंड दिस वीक व्हाट वी सेइंग इज आफ्टर दिस ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है मैम हां द सेकंड वन इज सॉरी द सेकंड वन इज द सेकंड वन इज आई मीन आई मस्ट रियली अप्रिशिएट जो अपना काउंसलर है उन लोगों का एकेडमिक्स का आई मीन द वे दे प्रेजेंटिंग इट्स एब्सोल्युटली टॉप क्लास 
तो ये वी नेवर आई मीन टू बी वेरी हॉनेस्ट विथ यू वी नेवर थॉट दैट इग्नो विल हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ डिसिप्लिन काइंड ऑफ यू नो सेशन आई एम बीइंग वेरी हॉनेस्ट यू माइट या सो बट द वे द प्रेजेंटेशन हैज बीन डन वो टॉप क्लास है आई मीन टुडे भूमिजा मैडम the the session was planned until 9:45 now we we almost into 11 o'clock no she been very patient and she took us through can we i was in processing the recording for uploading on the website here on the youtube channel but he said no ma'am the live class no, is but... still going on so i was simply amazed <laughs> <laughs> this so much you no, but she was very patient she was very patient <laughs> so <laughs> may i just apologize that i just missed the time No, 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 no. It was very helpful, ma'am. You made it very interesting for us. The other thing. Um, uh, one more question. The section. other thing, ma'am. Yes, Shikant. Sorry, sorry, Ashmi ji, can I talk, please? Yeah, yes. Ma, I'm going to be very happy. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I I just needed to complete uh, my my full this thing. So, what mm-hmm. I uh, um, do? We have any other planned sessions uh, for this semester, ma'am? Because. i see the the counselors are going with a high pressure of you know because they've been allo- they've been given very short span of time and no, the no, subject uh, is so vast you can't just listen to me this was basically uh, to have some uh, uh, some beginning uh, or introduction orientation about the various courses before you submit your assignment the so assignment date was 15th may so hame laga ki har course pe ek ek do do classes aapke ho jaye So this can give you some basic clarity about the subject, about the syllabus, about the various components. So at least you'll be able to do your assignments and submit them. Okay. And remaining counseling schedule, we can ask for your response. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure we 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 really appreciate this initiative from your side. And uh, it would be nice if you can consider having these sessions, you know, uh, in our first semester. I mean, it's really a very informative. तो मैं लास्ट टाइम बोला था वी वी बीट ऑफ ऑफ फ्रॉम द एकेडमिक्स इट्स बीन रियली अ वाइल्ड तो वी रिक्वेस्टिंग जस्ट टू यू नो हैव दिस सेशंस वंस इन अ वाइल्ड प्लीज ठीक है ठीक है वी हम फर्दर टू डू दिस कमिटमेंट ओके यस बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया मैडम थैंक यू मिसेस मार्किया यस आई दैट वुड बी इट फॉर मी या यस मैम या गुड मॉर्निंग सो आई आई हैव अ सजेशंस एक्चुअली वी हैव जॉइंड दिस ऑनलाइन मोड ऑफ एमपीए इंस्टेड ऑफ डिस्टेंस एजुकेशन बिकॉज एज पार्ट ऑफ आई मीन जॉब जॉब वर्क एंड ऑल वी नीड टू ट्रैवल ए लॉट एक्चुअली सो सो वी प्रिफर द ऑनलाइन एक्सामेशन मोड इंस्टेड ऑफ ऑफलाइन सो दैट्स वाई वी हैव जॉइंड दिस ऑनलाइन मोड सो कैन यू आई मीन इनिशिएट इट दिस प्रिफरेंस ऑनलाइन <laughs> 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 तो थोड़ा सा तो रेजिस्ट्रेशन प्रॉब्लम स्टेटिंग ट्रबल कह लो वो रहेगा तो लेट्स सी इफ वी आर ओपनली प्रिपेयर्ड एंड वी आर एबल टू गिव यू द ऑनलाइन एग्जामिनेशन तो वो भी हो जाएगा बट उसको पूरा फिजिकली भी करने की जरूरत पड़ेगी Uh, it will create lot of pro- i mean problems regarding our work culture as well as with this uh, studies and all so put forth your demand to the authority let us see that okay yes because thanks okay ma'am okay thanks i think we should bind up now we have taken a lot of time from you nija thank you so much okay. thank you ma'am uh, thank, thank you students so thank all you. the best thank you i hope you do good in your assignments and we may take a leave now Thank, thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank thank you. Really thank appreciate you. it. All the best. Nice, nice having all my students in the class. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you. I'm just disconnecting the meeting.